Hi, in this video we will see what is meant by Buckingham's Pi theorem and uh, how to solve the problems using Buckingham's Pi theorem in case of dimensional analysis. So in previous videos we already saw about what is Rayleigh's method and what is Buckingham's Pi theorem where we used it mainly. So Buckingham's Pi theorem uh, mainly uh, we choose whenever uh, using the Rayleigh's method if we want to solve the dimensional analysis if it becomes more laborious then we choose the Buckingham's Pi theorem because using uh, Rayleigh's method we, uh, we can solve the uh, problem if there is only number of variables less than 3 to 4. If more than 3 to 4 the Rayleigh's method becomes really laborious and complicated. So at that cases Buckingham's Pi theorem is very useful and it is very easy to solve those problems. So today we will learn about how to solve the problems using Buckingham's Pi theorem. So Buckingham's Pi theorem. So first point is it is mainly used whenever the number of variables are more than the fundamental quantities uh, that means fundamental dimensions are 3 m l t if more than number of variables will be there more than 3 then we can go with Buckingham's Pi theorem and the statement is if there are n variables in a physical phenomena and if these variables contain m fundamental dimensions then the variable can be arranged into n minus m dimensionless terms each term is called as pi term. So what is meant by it means, let us write the definition first, if there are n variables in a phenomena and if these variables contain m fundamental dimensions m fundamental dimensions then the variables are arranged into n minus m dimensionless terms and each term is called pi term. So that means uh, actually if there are n variables that means uh, suppose take 3 to 4, 4 variables will be there and we have m fundamental quantities. So we know for uh, each and every one 3 fundamental quantities will be there those are m, l, t. So, four, we have 4 variables and 3 fundamental quantities. So, then the number of variables can be arranged into n minus m dimensionless terms. That means 4 minus 3 is equal to 1. So, 1, uh, one dimensionless term and that dimension, dimensionless term is we call it as the pi term. So, in case of the Buckingham's pi theorem, we mainly came across the these pi terms. Um, and after getting the after writing the pi terms we have to compare the dimension uh, arbitrary constant values on both sides uh, that is pi term is a dimensionless term we already mentioned here so the um, formula fundamental formulas are m power 0 l power 0 and t power 0 for pi term and phi is equal to uh, phi is a we have to write in terms of given variables. So those have some arbitrary constants that means suppose if density will be there it has dimensional formula, velocity will be there it has dimensional formula. So we write those uh, dimensional formulas and we compare both the arbitrary constants same as in case of the Rayleigh's method. Then we got those arbitrary constant values and after all we have to substitute all those values in the first equation to get the given uh, e uh, to get the equation for the unknown variable. So suppose I am taking x1, x2, x3, x4 till xn. These are the variables involved 
and x1 is a dependent variable which depend upon all these x2, x3 and so on etc. So x1 is a dependent variable and all these are the independent variable. Now we can write x1 is a function of x2, x3 and so on xn and this equation can also be written as function of x1, x2 and so on xn is equal to 0. So we can write any function and this equation if this equation contain n variables variables as n and m as the fundamental dimensions so according to Buckingham's pi theorem number of pi terms we have to write down so the number of pi terms is equal to number of pi terms is equal to n minus m so this is the formula for the number of pi terms so then the equation becomes f of pi 1 comma pi 2 comma and so on pi n minus m is equal to 0. So each this pi term is a dimensionless term and it is independent of system. So it is independent of system that means by division or multiplication or by anything uh, to this pi term it remains constant it does not change the characteristics of the pi term. So this is the dimensionless term. So its dimensional formula is m power 0, l power 0 and t power 0. And each of this pi term contains m plus 1 variables. So where m is the fundamental quantities that is m l t 3. And 1 is the form m plus 1 is the formula. So 3 plus 1 is equal to 4. So for each pi terms 4 variables will be there. So where those four variables we have to select uh, by using the select uh, repeating variables method. So in next video probably we will see how to write down the pi terms uh, using and what are the repeated variables how to write down the pi uh, how to select the variables while writing the pi terms. So ultimately the equation will becomes f of pi 1 comma pi 2 comma and so on pi n minus m is equal to 0 where pi 1 is equal to x2 power a1 comma x3 power b1 comma x4 power c1 these are the three which fundamental quantities that means pi is equal to for each pi term contains m plus 1 variables where m is the fundamental quantities mlt 3 so 3 plus 1 is equal to 4 so for each pi term it contains 4 variables so that means we, when we are writing the pi term it should be 4 variables so these are the 3 variables I am selecting I don't select x1 because x1 is a dependent variables so we have to write find out the expression for the x1 itself so we have to write in term other uh, we have to consider other dependent variables that is x2 x3 x4 like that so x2 power a1 so this is the pi 1 term that's why i am writing a1 so b1 c1 and next we have to consider we need four variables in case of the pi term here we write down only three so the next one we have to consider as the x1 that means what are the other variables will be there rest variables will be there we have to write those variables at the last and again if we want to write pi 2 again x2 power a2 x3 power b2 and x4 power c2 and after x4 we have one more term x5 like this if we want to write pi 3 so x3 power a3 x3 power b3 and x4 here x2 uh, x4 power c3 and x, x, x6 like this so these are the pi uh, form procedure to write down the pi terms and after writing these pi terms we have to compare the arbitrary constants on this pi side and other side left side and right side so that we get the arbitrary constant values like in previous method, Rayleigh's method so that we can substitute those values to get the equation. So in probably next video we will see 
these are called as the repeating variables. So, method of uh, what is the procedure or method for selecting the repeating variables? We will see and uh, how to select those variables while, while writing the Pytons.